You are the Department of Defense. You didn't do anything to advance. How do you allow these drones to fly to Moscow? Evgeny Prigozhin, founder of PMC Wagner. In this appeal to the Russian Ministry of Defense, Evgeny Prigozhin criticizes the inaction of the Russian authorities. In his opinion, the Kremlin was unable to protect Russians from drone attacks on Moscow. The fact that they fly to Rublevka, to your home, to the hell with it. Let your houses burn. And what to do ordinary people when drones with explosive crash into their windows? And therefore, as a citizen, I am deeply indignant that these bastards sit quietly smeared with expensive screams. Evgeny Prigozhin, founder of PMC Wagner. According to analysts at the Institute for the Study of War, Evgeny Prigozhin continues to undermine Putin's carefully built vertical. He definitely and publicly denounces the bureaucrats, and all due to the fact that, in his opinion, he was not appreciated and not rewarded properly, experts say. And recently the Kremlin also banned the mention of PMC's Wagner and Prigozhin in the propaganda media. Prigozhin's jabs at Putin and the Russian Ministry of Defense in combination with his bragging about Wagner's accomplishments may suggest that Prigozhin is frustrated that he did not receive some promised compensation for his victory in the battle for Bakhmut, from a report by the Institute for the Study of War. But while Wagner is at the forefront, Prigozhin is not in danger of being eliminated, experts are sure. But what are his goals? According to analysts, he cannot make a coup inside the country, not because he does not want to. He simply does not have the resource for this. But this does not mean that the revolution is impossible, experts believe. What is a revolution? It's not like sailors running from the floundering bay and storming the Winter Palace. No. This is the second stage of the revolution, and the first stage of the revolution is when the current government scrambles and becomes unable, at first to simply effectively perform the basic functions of the state, then to perform them in general. Without this first stage, there will be no second. Therefore, the struggle in the political arena remains relevant for Prigozhin. With the Ministry of Defense of Russia, he is fighting exclusively in the media. A media story criticizing the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation. It comes to Russians who are not directly related to the war, but believe that the war is being waged incorrectly. The generals stole everything, but again it is sanctioned. Or at least it has not been stopped by Putin and his inner circle. According to analysts at the Institute for the Study of War, the large-scale losses of PMC Wagner in Russia's war against Ukraine offset all the imaginary achievements of Prigozhin. Earlier, he stated that 10,000 Wagner mercenaries died on the battlefield. But even according to data from open sources, experts conclude that these figures are significantly underestimated. Reported by Sergei Kulas, Victoria Smirnova, UATV News.